Hey, Birdman. Want to order in tonight? There's a documentary on TV we could watch about glitches in the Matrix. Sorry, Twinkie Boy. I can't. I have a date tonight. A date? With who? Her name is Carol. I'm taking her out to supper at this fabulous restaurant, and then we'll go for a walk at the cemetery. Well, me and Sheila should come. A double date. Yeah, no. I want to do all the talking and get all the attention. You know how Sheila is, always trying to dominate. Well, what restaurant will you go to? Twinkie boy, I know you're just asking me that so you and Sheila can show up and pretend like you are there coincidentally. I'll give you a hint. They have the best white sauce in town. You know I only eat white things. You're so difficult sometimes. Well, is this what you're wearing on your date? I'm dressed to impress. I'll be wearing my cloak of confidence, and I'll be flickering my ponytail back extra tight. I can't have any flyaways. And what about this Carol? Who is she? Oh, she's quite the catch. She wears flip-flops everywhere she goes. She'll never be able to hide from me when we play hide-and-seek in the cemetery. I'll hear her flipping and flopping around the headstones. Hee 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 hee. You have all the fun without me. Have fun in your stupid day, Birdman. I'll be here with Sheila watching TV. I hope you're jealous. Now there's a woman. She really takes care of herself. Her toenails are so long. She can barely wear any shoes. Good day. Joke's on you, Twinkie Boy and Sheila. I'm the one who's a great catch. Just look at my strong beak and burly physique. I'm going to swoop in and steal some hearts tonight. Sheila, I can't right now. I'm waiting for an important delivery. What kind of delivery? I've ordered something online. From the internet. It's going to make our lives much better. 
Twinkie boy, you're being secretive. Spill the beans. What is it? Okay, okay. It's a... Uh... Shush, Twinkie boy. It's polite to be quiet when I'm on the phone. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I demand to know who's breathing in my ear. Hang up, Sheila. No one should be making you feel uncomfortable, even on the phone. You're right, Twinkie boy. My hero. Now, what did you buy for you? What's coming in the mail? I ordered us... Excuse me, roommates. I have exciting news. I'm going on a date with a woman. We met on the internet. Twinkie boy, why don't you ever take me on dates? Don't worry, Pumpkin. I'll take you on plenty of dates. This isn't about you, Sheila, or you, Twinkie boy. It's about me. And in just a few hours, this woman will be in love with me. I'm irresistible to women, you know. I wish we had a car so you could drive me to my date, Twinkie boy. Cabs are expensive, and I'm so big. I have to drive with my head out the window. You're in luck. It just so happens. Hello? Hello? Twinkie boy is mine. All mine. It must be a prank phone call, Sheila. My cab is here. I'm off to my date. I'll be sending out wedding invitations when I get home this evening. Ta-ta, suckers. Suckers? Twinkie boy, do something. Don't worry about it, Sheila. I love you with all my heart. Now let me show you what I bought us. Look on this computer screen. Oh, a new car. That's right. Power windows, winter tires, windshield washers. Wait till you see all the dates I take you on. Oh, Twinkie. Very exciting. That must be the delivery now. Let's go get in our new car. Hmm, maybe this is the key. But where's my car? Twinkie boy, did you get scammed? Unfortunately, yes. <sighs> you can't believe everything you see on the internet, Twinkie boy. Oh, I need to call my mother. She always cheers me up. Hello, mother. I need you to come over. I've been scammed today, and I need a hug.
Hi, Betty. What are you doing? I'm on my way to meet a new friend. He wants to meet me in the park. Oh, where did you meet this friend? I met him on the computer. He only started talking to me today. You mean you've never met this person? That's right. No! Uh, what's up with you? Betty, you can't meet this friend. Why not? They seem nice, and he said he would bring his cute dog. I just love animals. Well, they might seem nice when they talk to you online, but in real life, they could be really scary and try to hurt you or make you feel uncomfortable. This person is basically a stranger, and he's bringing his dog, you said? Well, that could be a trick. Bad strangers might want to trick people by offering them candy or showing them an animal. They might lie and say they will offer you money. You never know. Oh, wow. I guess I never thought about that. Does your mom even know about this? No, she doesn't. Betty, you should always tell a grown-up that you trust about people you talk to on the internet and let a grown-up know where you're going. That's a smart idea. Okay, but what if he really was a nice person? I don't want to be rude. Oh, Betty, you never have to worry about being rude when it comes to strangers. You don't have to be nice or polite. In fact, you don't have to speak to them. We live in a free country. You can even run away from them and scream in their face like this. Ah! Scream! Yeah, like if a stranger tried to touch you, you should definitely scream. Hit and run away as fast as you can. Right. Well, I guess I'll tell my mom about this person I've been talking to and stay at home. Do you want to play a game? Sure. That's right. We should always use caution when we talk to people on the internet. People might be trying to use pictures in order for you to think that they're someone different. Remember, never meet someone on the internet alone. Tell a grown-up that you trust about it. But now here's a question. What would a stranger do in real life to you? Hmm? What could you do? Well, let's watch this situation and see what Freddy did when he was approached by a stranger. La 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 la. Hey there, little man. Nice weather we're having. See, what's your name? Okay, pause. Freddy doesn't even know this person. Why would he want to talk to this weirdo? If a stranger comes to talk to you, you don't know if they have good or bad intentions. They might try to hurt you. Let's see what Freddy did. Don't talk to me. Wow, Freddy is a genius. What a great response. Freddy could have also said nothing at all and ran away. Wait, what's this? The stranger is still trying to talk to Freddy? Oh, it's okay. Just want to be your friend. Come a little closer. I'll give you some yummy candy. Get away, you creep. Ah! ah, yes, perfect. If a stranger ever tries to come near you or grab you or touch you, remember, scream, ah! Ah! and run away. You can even hit them if they grab you. So what happens now? That's when I come in. After a situation like that happens, you must find an adult you trust and tell them what happened. You can even call the police by dialing 911. We are here to help you. Now, if you excuse me, I need to make an arrest. Hey, you quit! It's the fuzz. Ah. Put your hands behind your back, now! Let me go, I didn't do anything. Yeah, right, tell it to the judge. You're coming with me. Let's practice our screaming voice. Ah! 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 Hmm. What else could we say if a stranger's trying to touch us? Stop! Get out of the way! Don't touch me, creep! A lot of people think that police officers are scary because we have to wear these uniforms and wear armor. But it is our job to protect people in danger and to prevent situations that we just saw from happening. You don't need to be scared of police officers because we're always going to be there to protect you.
Back so soon? What about your date? Ah! She showed up and was at least 20 years older and 100 pounds heavier than her picture on her dating site. My picture was from this morning. It's dishonest! I can't build a relationship that starts off on a lie. I told her to order the most expensive thing on the menu, and then I ran out and left her there. You can't trust people you just meet on the internet, Birdman. They could try to trick you. And you should never go meet someone you meet on the internet without asking a parent first. Birdman, Twinkie's mom is coming over. You can ask her. A little late, don't you think, Sheila? Long time ago, in about 1200 BCE, in the time of the ancient Greeks, there was an amazing evolution of realism and perfectionism in sculptures. Look at how cool and accurate these statues are. Ancient relics really wow. The ancient Greeks are also known for their religion with a bunch of gods and also this really long story that was written by a guy named Homer. It's called the Odyssey. One day, Odysseus and his team of tough guys needed to find some shelter. Lucky for them, there was a neat cave for them to rest in after a day of exploring the oceans. Look, man, this cave would be perfect to set up camp for tonight. You know, Odysseus, when you first found this cave, I thought, disgusting, dark, damp, terrible, only fit for some kind of disgusting monster. But you've added these nice throw blankets and decorative pillows. It's uh, quite homey. I didn't add any of these things. What are you talking about? Uh. Be fi fo bum I'm hungry for some humans. It's a hideous man-eating cyclops! Ah! Wait, wait! That is no monster. He is a friend. Odysseus, he's like 50 feet tall, and he just said he was hungry for humans. Shh, shut up. I have a plan, okay? Uh, my friend, uh, what is your name, a good friend? Who, me? I'm Polyphemus. What's your name? My name is Odysseus. Uh, <clears throat> my name is, uh, uh, Nobody. Ah, Nobody. It's nice to talk to Nobody. Yes, I'm Nobody. Uh, but, uh, uh, Polyphemus, I noticed that you've got a boo-boo on your big toe. Uh, allow me to share with you my special healing tonic. Uh, take this, it will fix you right up, and you'll grow even more toes. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. I'm little drink with nobody. Mmm, delicious. Thanks to nobody. Ha ha. Well, it turns out that Odysseus was lying to the Cyclops the whole time. He lied about his name, he lied about the tonic, which was actually a sleeping potion. Poor Polyphemus had no idea what awaited him. Okay guys, now that he's asleep, let's blind him so that we can sneak out of here without him seeing us. Okay, but how are we going to do that? Well, how about we take this salt and put it into his eye? Won't he call out for his Cyclops friends for help? Well, no, because he thinks my name is nobody. It'll work, trust me. Odysseus then snuck up on Polyphemus while he was asleep and poured salt into the Cyclops' eye. Yowza, that's gotta hurt. My eye, my eye, oh my eyeball, my single eyeball. Nobody's here, nobody's here. The other Cyclops heard Polyphemus um, cries, but did not come to his aid, for they, they were confused. Odysseus escaped and sailed the sea for years, while Polyphemus spent the rest of his life on Cyclops Island, where he was cautious about new people he met. Can't always believe everything people say, Polyphemus. Mother, it's so good to see you. I need your support. I recognized that breathing. It was you who called me and made me uncomfortable. I'm sorry, dear. I had just run up a flight of stairs and I was trying to catch my breath. 
He might be your husband, but he'll always be mine. My little Twinkie boy. I love you, dear. I love you too, Mom. <laughs>